All right, so today we're going to talk about getting everybody involved. So what does that mean? So why is it important to get everyone involved? It's a good family bonding paired with positive family encouragement, and it also builds confidence and self-esteem. Also, participation from both parents or guardians and children in activity, activities gives children, so you guys, a sense of growth and ownership. So why is it important? Well, it encourages good habits. It helps with family bonding. It's an opportunity for encouragement and it also teaches you teamwork. So how do you decide what to do when it comes to your family? Well, take turns on who gets to choose the physical activity. Maybe you enjoy traditional exercise well, you also may want to dance or play a sport. On a light exercising day, maybe encourage your family to follow along or turn on some music so they can just dance. And then allow everybody in the family to choose a physical activity. Staying safe and injury free are the top priority not only for you guys, but for your parents as well. So make sure you choose an activity that your parents and you can do. Keep their abilities in mind. If you need to, if you go for a run, slow down or speed up. I'd slow down. <laughs> or have them ride a bike alongside you. Choose a softer ball when you play with a sport. Start out slow. You and your family may not be ready to jump full force into a family exercise right away. If that's the case, start out slow with 10 minute exercises, family walks, and short bike rides will be the best to stay motivated and safe. So what are some activities that can get everybody involved? Make chore time, exercise time, turn on some music, and just get after it. Find a fitness class you can do together. Take the dog for a walk. Go to the park. Maybe even play some frisbee. So now we're gonna play an activity and it's called Spot the Sheriff. So we're gonna play for about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, as long as we can get everybody to play and go around once. So the group stands in a circle. So make sure you spread out in a big circle. We're gonna pick one person and they're going to go stand in the middle of the circle and they're called the sheriff. So the person that is it So the person that's it is the sheriff. So now they're going to quickly spin around in a circle and they're going to point straight at one person in the circle and say duck. The person that's pointed at has to either crouch as quickly as they po they possibly can or they're out. The two people standing next to them, next to the person that got pointed at, must point at each other and shout each other's names. The last person to shout out their name is out. And you'll keep going around until only two people are left. When you have two people left, they'll stand back to back in the middle of the room. The sheriff will call out a random number and every uneven number that the sheriff yells out, they'll take a step away from each other. On the first even number, they'll quickly turn around and point at each other. The last person to turn around is out. The quickest person is the winner. So we're going to keep doing that for about 20 minutes. Hopefully we can get everybody to be the sheriff. This will also help with names, and this will help with your ability to hear and act as fast as you can. So I'm going to give you about 20 minutes to play this game, and then we'll come back and answer some questions. So pause this video. All right, so we're back after that 20 minutes of the game. I hope everybody got to be the sheriff. So now let's talk about... What are some other activities that we can do around the house? 
that can help you exercise with your family. We already talked about chores. So what are things you can do about around the house? Give you guys about a minute. And then three, two, one. I hope we had some good answers. All right. Our next question is, what are some activities we can do outside with our family? Let me give you guys a little bit of time on this one because I want you guys to come up with at least 10 answers. So what are some activities that we didn't talk about that you can do outside to exercise with your family? Yeah, give you guys about 30 more seconds. And three, two, one. I hope we came up with 10 answers. All right, and if you have any more questions, feel free, come reach out at us at the YMCA in Ashland. I hope you guys enjoyed this PowerPoint and learned a little bit about why we should get involved with our family and exercise. See you guys next week.